Hey you guys, we are at the mall. I'm gonna go to the Lego store and get some more figure packs right over there. And that's uh, not a great angle. I'll get the better angle when we get to the top of the stairs, but uh, big surprise. I managed to find the Death Trooper Assault uh, early. It's being shipped to me and I'll have it tomorrow. Um, but I had to make a trade with someone because they don't have a Lego store near them. So I'm getting him two figure packs and he's sending me what I need. So that video will be out hopefully Friday. But let's get these figure packs. Hey, how you doing? Hey guys, it's LEGO Empire bringing you guys another set of you today. Today I am very excited to show you guys the first LEGO set that I've got from 2022. That is part of the spring wave, I guess is the word I'd call it. But it is the first LEGO set that I've actually gotten uh, early. Uh, a couple days ago, right here, there was an article that released saying that a seller in the Midwest was selling the LEGO set early. Well, lo and behold, I contacted the guy from the Facebook group that made that post because I happened to be in that group and he managed to snag me one of the sets and ship it to me. I had him overnight it and I have it just over there in a box. We're going to open it up, review the set and play with some dark troopers. I'm really excited to show this to you guys. Let's go. This set may basically open now. Um, just opening up the final package here. We're gonna cut this right here. Get rid of the tape. Try not to... I mean, the set's going to get open, so I don't know why I'm freaking out, but... And there we go. And we're going to open this up here. going to go up here in just a second. And here we go. The first set that I've ever owned that is straight dated. Um, I'm super stoked to have this, um, shout out to Brent, uh, thank you so much for shipping this to me, um, I will be getting your stuff in the mail tomorrow, um, I appreciate it, uh, if you see the Costco set, if anyone sees it, let me know down in the comments, I would love to, uh, pay you guys, pay you for the set, to ship it, pay and give you the money back for it, if you find the set early, I always appreciate it, giving a shout out to where I can, um, but yeah, let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and build this. It has uh, 400 or 166 pieces and it's at 75324. Let's do it. Hey guys, Lego Empire bringing you another set of review. I have just finished building the 75324 Dark Trooper attack set. And let me tell you, this set honestly blows my mind. It's $30 and it comes out March 1st. It has three Dark Troopers and a Luke Skywalker figure and it has some playability. So starting from top to bottom, up here on top, we have the elevator, which twists around that Luke is in. Um, if his lightsaber wasn't in his hand, you could hide him in here and he'd be on the inside of this tube but you can also just turn him from left to right so he can pull, you know, there's some play features here. This set is very sticker heavy. All of these pieces here are stickers, these four pieces on the wall and these six pieces uh, that are diagonal. The control panel next to the door is also a sticker. So just keep that in mind. And then on the bottom we have these sets. So this one can be flown around in circles like Luke is using the force and Luke can, can throw him out of the set like this. And then this jump, jet, uh, jump pack or death trooper, jet trooper, uh, this death trooper can fly like he's using his jet boosters to get closer. And this figure can look like he's walking. The one thing that's honestly remarkable about this set is that I think this set is perfect for building mocks right now because of what it comes with. I think if you buy, you know, three or four of these, you can make the bridge of Moff Gideon's cruiser. That's going to be one of my goals or things I'm going to try to do with this set. Um, this set honestly is marvelously work, uh, worth the money. I mean, this is one of those things that Lego, that shows you that if Lego actually like 
put their all into something, they can make something really cool. I think these display sets actually have a really good a really good place with the Lego figures right now. Um or just like in general, just have a really good thing going for them. I I, I honestly think this set's pretty great. Um and this could be the start of a really good year. I think Jabba's Palace is gonna be a kind of a miss for me personally, but this set honestly is really good. As far as it goes from like a display set, like you can put this on the wall or on like a mantle or a shelf and people immediately know what's going on. If anyone's watched The Mandalorian, it is the iconic scene from the end of season two where Yoda or where Yoda, where Luke shows up and saves Mando and Bo-Katan and takes the captured uh, or well leaves them with the captured Moff Gideon to his own vices of the New Republic and then Luke takes Grogu to start his Jedi training. A very emotional scene, but one that many people will know even at first glance of seeing this set. Um, the Death Troopers themselves are the exact same Death Trooper from Moff Gideon's cruiser, so I'm not going to get too much into it, but as you can see here, they have the leg printing, they have no arm printing, and they have some back printing here, but you can't see all of it because of the shoulder torso piece that they have on. This shoulder torso piece is the same one used by the Bad Batch by Wrecker, um, except it's just retextured to be a black plate for the Death Troopers. Um, the Death Troopers still do have their, like, weird tech robotic helmet here, as you can see here on the top. Um, definitely neat. I, um, I'm glad that they've made a cheaper way for you guys, for us to get these sets, but I am, I may, I may buy, like I said, I may buy four of these. I'm not sure. Um, if you, if I catch these on sale, maybe I'll buy more, but I doubt they'll ever be on sale at the Lego store. You'll probably have to find them from a retailer like Walmart, or maybe get them with Kohl's cash, um, as they will be, as they will be available, uh, pretty much everywhere. Uh, this is not a Lego store exclusive, by the way. Um, as far as, like, going on further with this set, I mean, that's, oh, right, I forgot, there's one more thing we need to go over, and that's the Luke figure, as I get these Death Troopers back into their prepared mode. So, the Luke Skywalker figure. It is basically the same Luke Skywalker figure we got last year. Um, slightly different, but he has his black robes. It's pretty much the same Luke Skywalker, um, except the hood. The last Luke Skywalker we had did not have a hood. He had his yellow hair. Um, he has a black cape. He's an all black. He has leg and torso printing. He has the dual molded head with the angry face on one side and the happy face on the other. He also has the, like, one black hand for his robot hand and his normal hand. And then he also has back printing, no back leg printing. But overall, I mean, I think he's a very good figure to be getting for $30. I think that's honestly incredible. Um, I'm a little upset that it didn't come... I mean, I'm happy that we got him at all. Um, I mean, I thought that we weren't going to get a Luke Skywalker from uh, Mandalorian Season 2, but... It's one of those things that we actually did. Lego did something really cool for the fans, and we were rewarded because of it. Um, overall, though, this set is $30. It comes out March 1st. I got this early. Um, uh, again, big thanks to my man who shipped this set for me. Um, it's the first time I've ever got a set before Street Date, so this is a really special feeling for me. Um, let, me know guys, let me know, guys, down in the comments if this is a set you're going to be picking up. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys like the content, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, if you hate the video, comment below. Let me know how I can improve my content. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. I've been LEGO Empire. See ya.